Shane comes out for a promo. Thank goodness Rock cuts him off right away. He's got a commercial and the match starts. It's a 2001 hardcore match. They mm-hmm. brawl in the crowd. They brawl on the ramp. There are spots with a trash can. There are spots with a kendo stick. Eventually, Rock, I, I think he debuted his kip up here. I think he was learning to kip up the whole time he was away working on this movie. <laughs> Fuck, Booker if T I see one to... more goddamn kip up, it'll be too soon. They had four <laughs> baby faces doing kip ups on Raw last night. Four! I see. And I don't even think they have Other... four baby faces on Raw, so one of them might have been a heel. Actually, I'm not even joking because one of them was Charlotte, who I'm pretty sure is a heel. Hmm. Well, they only had one on Raw in 2001, and it was the top guy. So it meant something. So he beats up Shane. Booker tries to interfere. Rock beats his ass, too. He rock bottoms Shane and pins him. At least he gets laid out after the match. Booker attacks him afterwards. They double team him. But then, when all is said and done, Shane is the one who puts Rock through the announce table. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I mean, they wanted to show off his his big elbow off the post, and it's a cool looking elbow. So I'll give him that. But they work together. They laid out the Rock. I mean, Heat. And that's it. I thought the match was all right. What the fuck can you do with Shane? You can't do anything but a hardcore match. Where you just beat the shit out of him and do crowd brawling and you hit each other with fucking sticks. I mean, they had to put in time. This match went like 16 minutes or some shit. It didn't right. need to go that long. But that's what they did and they set up some matches for SummerSlam and I don't know. I thought the show was alright. It was certainly not a great show. But the segments that I liked, I liked. So there you go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I do, I do. Yeah, that's very diplomatic of you. Yeah. Well, listen, all I'm looking for is to be entertained for these these two hours. Understood. And Steve Austin was very entertaining to me. Yes. And Deborah's segments. I felt bad for Matt Hardy and Lita. But you know what? I've been watching this show for a long time, and it's not like anything else was going to happen. That's what was going to happen. <laughs> they're, getting, they're at least getting Angle over. They could do a better job, but they are getting him over as a baby face. Mm-hmm. I mean, I know what the SummerSlam matches are. And the, the show's, like, weeks away. I don't even fucking know half the shit that's on the Royal Rumble on Sunday because they haven't announced it yet. So when I look at it from that perspective, I thought the show wasn't too bad. If you love these video clips, head down there to the bottom right-hand side of the screen and click Join. For just $7.99 per month, you get full access to all of the episodes. Over 300 at current count. Full-length episodes of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, and Figure Four Daily with both Landstorm and Filthy Tom Lawler. You can also hit that subscribe button, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows are available.